Hello, I am Samir Sharma, Regional Director of ITU's Regional Office for Asia and the Pacific. Happy World Radio Day! I thank Asia Pacific Institute for Broadcasting Development for this opportunity to be the part of this celebration. As this year's theme focuses on upholding diversity, it is interesting to note that diversity in mediums and devices through which radio is delivered today is terrestrial, satellite, cable, internet, over the air or online. Even the choice of devices are numerous. Friends. ITU has helped the world to connect since its formation in 1865. As the Specialized Agency for United Nations on ICT, ITU has played a vital role in the success of broadcasting sector, including facilitating infrastructure, standards, spectrum, digitalization, smooth convergence of telecom broadcasting sector that we have seen and become the part of today's digital economy. ITU and its members were always there to ensure that the connectivity remains affordable and accessible for the public and people can have access to a wide variety of services. As a result, we are seeing billions of people, businesses and devices are connected to the internet, enabling the public and businesses to take part in the fourth industrial revolution using digital connectivity. Friends, in addition, spectrum allocated for the 5G connectivity and non-GSO fixed satellite services which happened at the recent World Radio Communications Conference held in Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt has further allowed this allowing quality connectivity and broader reach. This will enable more people to access television and radio broadcasts, especially those in rural and remote areas. Friends, TV and radio will remain a critical medium to gather news and access content for the public. The switch from analog to digital has its challenges and will have significant impact on the service providers and the end users. However, one thing remains certain is that digital broadcasting can open doors to the new opportunities, introducing new business models, services and markets in the radio and broadcasting sector. In response to this, IT will continue its commitments to support its transition with its members in Asia Pacific region, the ITU has assisted 24 member states in developing their national roadmaps for transition from analog to digital terrestrial broadcasting. In addition, we have been and continue to formulate standards, raise awareness, build capacity, and provide customized assistance to the countries. This was made possible through support from other members, including our partnership in Asia Pacific with AIBT and ABU to facilitate this transition. Finally, IT will continue to support its members and the public to benefit from these technologies so as to enable them to participate fully in the digital economy, leaving no one behind and achieve our goal for sustainable development by 2030. Happy World Radio Day from the IT. Thank you.